Martin Luther King Jr. was born in Atlanta, Georgia on January 15, 1929. He attended segregated public schools and graduated from high school at just 15 years old. King worked tirelessly for the civil rights movement. In a way, Martin Luther King's leadership of the civil rights movement got its start here at a bus stop. In 1955, African Americans were forced to sit in the back of city buses in Montgomery, Alabama. That's when seamstress Rosa Parks boarded a bus and refused to give up her seat to a white man. It marked the beginning of the Montgomery bus boycott. King, though reluctant, was chosen to lead what became a successful 380-day black boycott of Montgomery city buses. For over a year, African Americans refused to ride city buses, protesting the segregated seating. King's role in the boycott was crucial, and it's recognized as the earliest mass civil rights protest. The boycott ended with the U.S. Supreme Court ultimately ordering Montgomery to integrate its bus system. He personally confronted Southern white power structures in a way they had not been confronted before. August 28, 1963, King delivered one of his most iconic speeches, addressing a crowd of hundreds of thousands of people from the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. Because I have a dream. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama with its vicious races. One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. Those words, a benchmark of what was needed for America's future. Just five years later, King would travel to Memphis to support a workers' strike. But while he was standing on the second floor of the Lorraine Motel, King was fatally shot. His assassination led to riots across the U.S. And while King's life was cut short, his legacy lives on, the annual day bearing his name, a chance for everyone to remember a push for change can come peacefully. Eric Avella, Global News.